up guys, it's Mike Timmer here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to my Gothic 3 playthrough of the playthrough of the Hashishin aka Badiar and uh, welcome to episode um, 14 I'm not quite sure on the episode which is bad I know but you know it is what it is just make sure to check the title that will help you out, but uh, welcome nevertheless. I do not have much gold. Mm. Now my, uh, what I wanted to do was um, go to the temple of Al Shadim, but I do not entirely think my character is ready. So what I'm first gonna do is go to Kaor's tribe. So let's go to Kaor. that way the mouse is really sensitive compared to uh, games like Skyrim Welcome. Merdarian has already told us a lot about you. We are ready to fight for you, Decider. How else can you show me your support? I can share my knowledge with you. Glad that you have come. Merdarian, what are you doing here? I'm studying the writings of the ancient ones. What can I do for you? You found the artifact. Very good. If you are looking for Satyrus, he is camped near the temple of Al Shadim. The temple of Morasul is open. Yes, that was impossible to miss. The dead are wandering across the land, raising everything and everybody to the ground. We must put an end to the chaos. What can we do? The hordes of the undead are led by five undead commanders. If they fall, we can prevent the worst. Let's battle some undead. Yes. Let us go forth to battle. The commanders of the Ancient Ones do not belong in this time. Their rule has long since passed. Follow me. Very well. Time to kill some undead. Lots of them. 
So I hope you're ready for this, Mardarian, because I most certainly am not. Once we completed his quest, I will kill him. No, I'm not gonna kill him yet. It's too risky. First, gotta make sure that I complete all the Water Mage's quests before I start killing them. Beast just won't leave us in peace. Combo attack didn't re respawn, you know, the spin to win move. I have to get uh, a bit readjusted to the uh, controls of Gothic. Because in the last two days, I've been uh, playing non -scum, non stop Skyrim, which is also going to come to my, can um, to my channel. Although I cannot make any promises because of the fact I'm playing playing with bugs, um, with bugs, with mods that can and most likely will at some point make my save file corrupt. So we'll see how far I will be able to go. I will try to beat the game 100%, of course, but uh, it's going to be a long journey when it comes to Skyrim. Because not only do I have to beat Skyrim once. Nope, I have to eventually beat it 10 times. 11 if you call it the hardcore run. But you know, that's all in the future, whether it's t 2 years, 5 years, 10 years, whatever it takes to eventually get it done. But therefore, the save files must not, must not get corrupted, otherwise, I'm screwed. I have to get a bit readjusted to the controls because of the overplaying of Skyrim. The beast just won't leave us in peace. Tell him, Medarian. Tell him. You just don't get it, do you? No great loss. There are more of the beasts. no great loss. There's 
There's another one of those damn beasts. Gonna make use of uh, Madarian's unlimited mana source. Gain as much XP along the way as I can. Don't you bugger an inch, my darling. Don't bugger an inch, my brother.
right, so that's number two, if I remember correctly, because the one at Morasul has already been killed. And there are all five or six in total that you have to kill. Don't get it, do you? <clears throat> Miserable creature. Beast just won't leave us in peace. No one will miss you. Is everything all right? Sure. Stay close behind me. We've got to catch them all. Another one of those damn beasts. Miserable creature. Beast just won't leave us in peace. Where the hell's Medarian? Don't get it, do you?
the beat. Miserable creature. There's another one of those damn beasts. No one will miss you. The beast just won't leave us in peace. Can never save enough. We must not hesitate. That would be the death of us all. Don't give up. Follow me. All right, the one near Hassan. Kill those as well. At least, I think it was near Hassan. Or Hassan, whatever his name was. The uh, bugger that killed Ramirez. Pretty sure it was Hassan. We've almost made it. Come on. It's your turn. Now you're going to bleed. Oh, you dare to strike me? Yeah, let him have it. Kick his ass. Come on, man, block. I still got you. you dare to strike me? Why did you get that weapon, Mr. Batman? Uh, 
What do you know? It works. Poor man, Madarian. Death was not necessary, eh? The undead simply do not belong in this world. The commanders of the undead are history. Very good. Then the dead will soon rest in peace once again. Well done. I am proud of you. Take care of yourself. We all still need you. Take this with you on your way. Adonos be with you. I shall devote myself to my studies once again. There is still much to do. Good luck with your studies. Until our pops cross again. Let's see, my next destination. Now, since I'm not well supplied enough to try and ransack um, the Temple of Al Shadim, although I do get Loras there. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Let's go to do it. I do have a bit of items. Uh, let's see how much I can sell to make some bit gold. Show me your goods. Four K gold. That will help me to buy a few potions at uh, the water mages at the Temple of Al Shadim. At least the road to the Temple of Al Shadim. Because that area will be large, especially since the fact that I have to search the ruins for all these hidden items, like the statuettes of the, well, was it the figurines of the warrior? I think it was the figurines of the warrior.
but sometimes it can be that these graves are empty the most reason for that is um, let's say you know you dig up this treasure and uh, you die because of the lizards here or whatever you die somewhere but you forgot to save and you have to redig it and then the game thinks that the cash is already taken um, I, th I believe that is what happened to my playthrough of Adenos, where I wanted to get the uh, what was the playthrough of Enos? I think, no, I'm most definitely certain it was the playthrough of Adenos where I wanted to get the free Nomad armor, but it wasn't there. Um, sometimes it randomly happens, sometimes it's uh, due to the fact that, let's say you dig something up, you die, you reload, it's not there. It can happen. Um, I mean, pretty much those two reasons, basically, as far as I know. Maybe more, you know, who knows, but uh, I had it happen to me randomly, as well as uh, by, you know, dying, even though you looted the treasure beforehand, saved right before you loot the chest. If you loot it, it's gone. So if you don't loot it, if you don't pick up the items, it, it will remain there. At least, you know, that's what I think personally be wrong I'm not a you know how shall I say expert nor do I want to act like an expert sure I know this game relatively good you know but even I don't know I've everything Alright, so we have arrived at the Temple of El Shadim. Now this episode is a relatively short one compared to the others. But uh, it's basically the end of this episode. Because in the next episode we're gonna explore the entire area of the Temple of El Shadim. So thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button. And if you do enjoy uh, the content, make sure to... Once you subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell to be updated on whenever I upload a video, which is currently three videos a day, 8 a.m., 1 p.m., and 6 p.m. Central European time. And uh, it could be more, it could be less in the future. It depends on how far ahead of schedule I am or not am, you know. Well, let's say... Um, you know, the more content I create, the farther and further I get behind with when it comes to time stamping. There are two aspects of my YouTube channel that I'm trying to keep in balance, if you will. Currently, it is totally off balance because of the fact that I'm currently uploading way more than I'm actually time stamping. Now, what does this do? Sure, I get my hit marker relatively quickly. In fact, um, I'm currently at 1057 videos, um, give it a take, could be more, could be less, but out of the 1095 videos, which I have to have on the 25th of October 2019, we're still in 2018 and I'm nearly a hair, nearly nearly a year ahead of schedule, but um, that's because of the fact I upload more and gain more at the moment than I actually work on the timestamps. Now the most important, importantly playthroughs 
will be the first playthroughs of each individual game so I can keep the second, the third, etc. open for the community to timestamp to either, you know, promote their own channel in the future or get paid for it in the future. Um, but for the time being, my priority focus is the first playthroughs. Yes, I'm way behind. I'm still in Gothic 3 playthrough of Ananos and I've got quite a few games afterwards to timestamps like uh, Colonial Marines, um, Skyrim, Witcher 3, um, so I, I've got, you know, plenty to do when it comes to timestamp. You know, timestamping, you could say I'm way, way behind. Um, because of the fact that, you know, even though, yes, I need to have in the end of this year, three, uh, 730 videos, which are already heavily bypassed. But that does not mean that my timestamps will also be 730 videos done when it comes to timestamps. You know, sadly, it doesn't work that way, you know. Um, so, yes, at the moment, I'm currently way uploading way more, which makes me nearly a year ahead of schedule. I don't think I will be able to get 1095 before the 25th of, of October or during the 25th of October 2018, but... Um, who knows, you know, I could be wrong on that part, but I'm way, way more uploading at the moment, and I'm actually timestamping, and despite the fact that, you know, there will be a time where I'm like, you know, I need a little gaming break, or whatever you, but then in meanwhile, because of the fact that I currently upload three videos a day, I record estimately about six to eight to ten videos a day, it depends on the day, it depends on the game, it depends on how much I have to retry um, when it comes to the recording, etc. You know, but on average, currently I upload three videos a day. Well, upload five to ten videos a day. Publicly upload three videos a day when it comes to you know public and public them. Um, due to this schedule, you know, as soon as I upload a video, I'm gonna check what what date is the last video up well going to be public at and then I will continue the other videos in that manner so if I play a lot of Skyrim I will get a lot more Skyrim content if I play a bit more gothic I will get a lot more gothic content it's not that I have a schedule you know Monday gothic uh, Tuesday Skyrim no I just beat as many games as I poss possibly can as quickly as I can and do that with high efficiency now also want to make people aware that currently my Risen 2 playthrough has been inactive for quite a bit I will continue with Risen 2 once this path have a path has been beaten and you know I need another game to commentate at now it could be that I'm going to restart entire Risen 2 videos um, so yes that means some videos could be deleted when it comes to Risen 2 but that's only like 11 videos and it's not like it's going to be devastating to my schedule because I'm way ahead of schedule which is good but I'm also way behind the way behind the schedule which is bad it depends on how you look at it if you look my for my gameplay purely for the timestamps then I'm behind if you purely look it for the gameplay itself then I'm way be way ahead you know but anyways guys, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys next time where we're gonna go and explore the areas of Al Shadim, get inside the temple, get ourselves the robe of Adenals and uh, be one more step closer to be able to enter Ishtar. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.